you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, ancient of days. I give you all the glory, Abba Father. You are mighty, you are glorious. You are awesome in all your ways. Who is like unto thee, God? You are sufficient. Makodaba shanta lebebebu suprahanish. Eleko sinanama shatada bahai. Lako sunanama shananamaha. Father, we are here again today. Your children are gathered again today, believing you for fresh oil, believing you for fresh anointing, believing you for a fresh word. Uh, believing you for a fresh move of your spirit. We worship you, Lord Jesus. We give you all the praise, mighty God. We give you all the praise, mighty God. You are awesome. You are awesome in your ways. You are glorious. Makoda Baba Shananamaha Elekenene Mo Shatai. We worship you. We worship you. We raise a song of worship. Worship the Lord, somebody. Do not be silent wherever you are. Let your worship touch the heavens. Let the Lord know you are here. Makata la Baba Bashata. Irregede de de bo sinanamalataina. Eleko shakata. Rika nanama superhendesh. The great and the mighty God, the I am that I am, Makotalabaha, the bright and the morning star, the ancient of days, Maloka Shanalata, every tongue in heaven and earth shall declare your glory, every knee shall bow at your throne. In worship, you will be exalted, O oh God, and your kingdom shall not pass away. O oh, ancient of days, every tongue in heaven and earth shall declare your glory, every knee shall bow at your throne. In worship, you will be exalted, O oh God, and your kingdom shall not pass away. Oh, ancient of these. Hmm. Oh, Nakola Baba Ishina na Malatai na Balaha. Zumane nene mo shanana katania na maha na maha. Ele konono mo suprahande ko shabalatai. Iyama na ko shabalataya. The great monarch of the universe. The I am that I am. The bright and the morning star. Male ko shabalata. Raise up your worship. Raise up your worship. Raise up your worship. You see, this is not what just what we do to begin a life session. This is not what we do to begin a life session. It's not a tradition. Worshiping God should be your lifestyle. This should not be a tradition. This should be something you love to do. It should be something you want to tell God how great he is. You want to tell him how awesome he is. Every opportunity we get, we do not only come to God to ask from him, but we equally come to him to acknowledge who he is, to acknowledge what he, what he has done in your life. So whenever I realize that, when they say worship God, 
people are so lukewarm. They only start connecting when they say, when you start making fireful prayers. Worship to God is everything. Worship to God is everything. He is the one that can give you the things you're asking and believing him for. You do not only come to God to say, Lord, give me. Lord, deliver me. Lord, do this for me. But worship to God should be as important as any request you want to give God. So do not be silent when it's time to worship him. Do not be silent. A songwriter says, and I will not be silent. I will always worship you. As long as I am breathing, I will always worship you. And I will, I will not be silent. I will always worship you. Worship you as long as I am breathing, I will always worship you. We worship you, Lord Jesus. In a copa latana malupra handi shatalatai. Maneko shimanatana malako shabalata. Elenemo shikanama shata. As long as I have the bread of life in me, I will always worship you. As long as I have the bread of life in me, I will always worship you. Receive my worship, Abba Father. Receive my praise. Receive my worship. Receive my praise. Have your way in this life session, oh God. Have your way in this life session. Have your way in this life session. In the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Father, come and do what only you can do. And receive all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name. God bless everyone. If you're just joining, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. In the mighty name of Jesus, God bless you. I'm happy to, to have each and every one of you join in fellowship. God bless you. Hallelujah. 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 God bless every one of you. <clears throat> there is a veil that covers your face. And even though the, there is a promise of God upon your life, it cannot manifest. There is a veil that comes upon you or that covers your face. And, but as, even though you have the promise, I am, I am doing much better, Mrs. Lide, I am doing well. There is a veil that comes that covers your face. It doesn't matter what God has said. You cannot manifest it until that veil is lifted. Until the veil is lifted. Sometimes it might be something you really love so much. It might be something you are passionate about, but that is not supposed to be in your life. That should not be in your life. So there are so many of us carrying prophecies on our heads. Prophecies are hanging on our head, but we cannot manifest them because there is something that is shielding us from that. There is something that is shielding us. But I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, as we begin to pray, as you connect yourself, every veil that has shielded you from the promise of God in your life is taken away in the mighty name of Jesus. Every veil that has shielded you from the promises of God over your life is giving way in the mighty name of Jesus. It is giving way in the mighty name of Jesus. Every veil that has shielded you, Maleko Shanala Bahaya, every veil that has covered your face, making it impossible for you to access the 
promise of God. It is giving way in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil veil is giving way in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. La koshina malataina baha. Legedede de bo shakatana malekana maha. Yamala ko suprehenda shatalia tai. Rako shamanata. If you can pray in the Holy Ghost, just go ahead and begin to speak in tongues. If you cannot, just go ahead and begin to say, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Speak in tongues for like 30 seconds. Lake yana masha. Yamala ko sidala basha. Elekono no mo shabalataina. Elekele belekete lekete. Ikalatata la tosha. Elekona malato shikalatai. Elekona mazobalate. Regede de bo sitalatai. Marako shatalataina. Legede de bo sumalata. Rako shataya. Meleko shataya. Ianamo shataya. Barako shatai. Melenemo sutalabaha. Lakona masoprehendes. Ianama supalata. Reko zumanatana malata. In the mighty name of Jesus. I just gave us an instruction as I felt led in the spirit. I don't think very few people, very few people. Um, follow that. I said, I said, if you can pray, pray in the Holy Ghost, go ahead and do it for 30 seconds. If you cannot pray in the Holy Ghost, go ahead and speak in tongues for, uh, uh, and tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for 30 seconds. I'm not sure many people did it. I just told you that as I felt led, it is very important to obey prophetic instructions. Obedience is always better than sacrifice. You do not know why God wanted you to do that. It is always very important to respond to prophetic instructions. Hallelujah. And so God was teaching me yesterday. God was teaching me yesterday about a veil that can cover your face and you do not access the promise of God over your life. God was teaching me. That's awesome for everyone who did it. That's awesome. God was teaching me. Now he led me to the story of Abraham and Lord. When the, the, the story of Abraham opened in the book of Genesis chapter 12 from verse 1, the Bible says, Now the Lord had said to Abraham, Go away from your country and from your relatives and from your father's house to a land which I will show you, and I will make you a great nation, and I will bless you and make your name great. And you shall be a blessing, a source of great good to others. And I will bless you and, uh, and do good or benefit for those who bless you. And I will curse those who curse you. Those are all the promises that God had given to Abraham. Those are all the promises that God had given to Abraham. And now Genesis chapter 13 starts by saying that. So Abraham went up out of Egypt and he and his wife and all that he had and Lot his nephew with him into the Negev. He went with his wife and everything he had with Lord. God did not tell him to go with Lord, but he decided to go with Lord because he loved Lord. I want to presume he loved Lord. Lord was his nephew. Now, verse 14 says, let me summarize it to you. And so let me summarize, summarize the whole of ch uh, chapter 13 to you. Now, the Bible says that there was a conflict between Abraham's servant and Lord's servant. There was a conflict that had to make them to separate. They had to go their separate ways. And so Abraham told Lord, choose wherever you want to go, just pick your side and go on or take the other side. And the Bible says that Lord chose the side where, uh, where uh, it was green. That is in the land of Sodom, where uh, uh, toward the land of Sodom and Gomorrah and Abraham took the other side. Now, after Lord had left, after Lord had left Abraham, the Bible says in verse 14, now the Lord said to Abraham, after Lord had left, another Bible version says, after Abraham separated from Lord, now the Lord, you know, the Bible is very specific. The Lord said to Abraham, after Lord had left him, now, he said, now lift up your eyes and look from the place where you are standing, northward, southward, and eastward, and westward. For all the land which you see, I will give you and to your descendants forever. What got my attention is when God told him, 
Now lift up your eyes and look. Now lift up your eyes and look. It is like a veil when when Lot left him. It's like a veil left his eye. He was walking with God all this while, but God could not talk to him. He had a prophecy upon his life, but God could not give him prophetic instruction because he was with someone that he was not supposed to be with, or because he was in a place he was not supposed to be with. There was a covering. There was a veil that could not permit him to see. He could not even hear prophetic instruction because somebody was there that was not supposed to be there. And immediately he separated with Lord. God said, now lift up your eyes. I don't know what is that thing that has separated you. I don't know what is that thing that is preventing you from even hearing prophetic instructions from God. That thing is leaving you in the mighty name of Jesus. These are dangerous prayers we pray and that have result. You might even be scared because your lot might be a very loved one. It might be someone you love. You know those people that you call necessary evil. You love them so much though you know they are causing you pain until they leave your life you cannot begin to see you cannot begin to hear prophetic instructions that will change your life and you cannot see the promise you cannot see the promise somebody are you giving me permission today to take away those things that are preventing you are you going to give me permission to take away those things that are standing between you and your god-given prophecy are you going to give me permission to pray that everything that is blocking your prophecy, everything that is that is preventing you from accessing the promise of God over your life? Every veil, every veil, every covering that is stopping you from accessing the promise of God over your life. As I begin to pray right now, it can Catches fire in the name of Jesus. Every veil, every covering that is preventing you from accessing the promise of God over your life. As I begin to pray, it catches fire in the name of Jesus. As I begin to pray, it catches fire in the name of Jesus. As I begin to pray, la copa latana, iruka ishabalata, mandede de boshatai, iruka talababaha, mazakate, iamalakoya, lebona mashataina, eroko zata, iababashata, lekene ne moshata, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whatsoever has been covering your face from accessing the promise of God is taken away in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, parako shataya. Your Lord is giving way. Your Lord is giving way. Mako talabrahande. Yamamama shataya. And God is telling me right now, there is somebody that what is standing between you and your promise is a job. It's a job. It's a job. God has, what is, what is preventing you from accessing the promise of God is a job. You are asking yourself, how do I, how do I succeed? How do I go from here? If I let go of this job, what is there for me? You've got to trust God. If God told you that that place you are is not where you are supposed to be, it doesn't matter how flourishing it might seem to be. It, 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 you're not going to have up to, you're not going to have maximum effect in that place. You just keep surviving. You you just keep surviving. I don't know what your own Lord is. Your Lord might be a relationship. You might have been in a relationship for so long, it is not going anywhere. You are in that relationship for so long, it's not going anywhere. But because you love the people, they are not even treating you right. But because you love them, you, you, you are still there. It's time for, for there to be a separation. I know that this is difficult for you to say amen because you love the people. I know this is difficult for you to say amen because you love that place where you are. But I am here as commanded by the Lord to set you free. I am here as commanded by the Lord to take away every veil. Whatsoever is standing between you and your next level, I take it away in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatsoever is standing between you and your next level, I take it away in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatsoever is standing between you and your next level, I take it away in the name of Jesus. 
whosoever, whosoever, whosoever is standing between you and your next level, I take it away in the name of Jesus. I take it away in the name of Jesus. I take it away in the name of Jesus Malako Shabalataya Merako Zimanataya that evil veil that was placed on your face to to, 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 to obscure your vision, to make it impossible for you to see. I take it away in the name of Jesus I take it away in the name of Jesus. I take it away thank God thank God. You know God is just telling me, God is just telling me one of the things that keep us confined in certain places because we lack vision because we lack vision that is why you're going to stay in a place where they don't value you you are not appreciated you are scared of moving forward because you do not see that there is a better life for you ahead oh kadaba shana malatona mahai marekota you stay in that place and you are fighting because you think that is all what god has for you you do not have vision. You do not believe that God can make you. Oh, Malakasha. You do not believe that God has a better person for you. And so you are abused in that relationship. You still stay there. They don't treat you right. You still stay there. Because your vision has been impaired. You cannot see. Your vision has been impaired. You cannot see. Your vision has been impaired. You cannot see. Thank God for Abraham. They were fighting. And he said, no, we, we, we should not fight. Go your way and I will go my way. As a matter of fact, choose whatever path you choose. I know the God in whom I serve. I know the God I believe. Choose any path and go there. I'm going to take the other side. Choose any path and go there. I will take the other side. And, 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 and Lord chose the side where it was green. The Bible says the, the, the land of Sodom and Gomorrah looks very um, um, green and, and, and fertile. And he chose the other side because he knew he had God. I pray God is giving you a clear vision in the mighty name of Jesus. A clear vision that will give you stamina. That will give you hope. That will give you stamina. That will give you hope in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, the Bible says where there is no hope, the people perish. Where there is no vision, the people perish. Where there is no vision, the people perish. You perish because you are going to stay in that situation that does not even give you rest. Because you are scared of the unknown. You are scared. You do not have vision to see that God has got great plans for you. You do not have vision to see that God has a plan to prosper you. There is a promise upon your life. There is a prophecy upon your head. So you are scared to make a move because you think that God will not do it or because you have forgotten that you serve a God who is faithful. You do not see there is no vision. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. God is giving you a clear vision to see your future, to see what he has in store for you in the mighty name of Jesus. God is giving you a clear vision to see what he has in store for you. Somebody begin to say, I receive a clear vision. Say, I receive a clear vision. I receive a clear vision. I receive a clear vision. When you have a clear vision, you are not moved. You are not moved. You are not scared. It doesn't matter what, what, what they are contending over. You know that your redeemer lives. You know that you serve a God who is going to come through for you. Abraham did not, he decided, he remembered that he is a child of promise. Abraham remembered, he remembered that God is with him. He remembered he heard the voice of God some time ago. And he said, it's okay, Lord, go your way. Pick and go your way. I even made a mistake carrying you. You know, there are some relationships you are into. You know that this is not even the will of God for me. But because you love the people, you persevere. They are not doing right by you, yet you persevere. Even though you know that I could have better. Even though you know, but you just stay there. You stay there. You are in a job. You're in a place. You're not appreciated. They don't treat you right. But you just stay there because, because you do not know. you Because you've not had the understanding that God can do it for you. Thank God for Abraham. He remembered his promise. He remembered his promise. And he decided to let go. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. This is not easy. I know this is not easy. It might hurt you to let certain people you love live your life. But you've got to trust God. 
You've got to trust God that he is going to make you see clearly. He is going to give you those things that he had promised you in the mighty name of Jesus. As those things leave your life, God is appearing and showing up for you in the mighty name of Jesus. As those things leave your life, God is appearing and showing up for you in the mighty name of Jesus. As those things leave your life, God is appearing and showing up for you in the mighty name of Jesus. La no shatana malata. I separate you from unhealthy relationships so that the right person can come. I separate you from unhealthy relationships so that the right person can come. You are not going to say amen now because this is difficult. You are not going to say amen now because this is difficult. But that evil veil is giving way in the name of Jesus. That evil veil is giving way. Whatsoever is standing between you and your promise, I take it away in the mighty name of Jesus. I take it away in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatsoever, be it a human, be it a job, be it a place you are, I take it away from you in the mighty name of Jesus. If it is standing between you and your God-given blessing, if it is standing between you and your God-given prophecy, I take it away in the mighty name of Jesus. I take it away in the mighty name of Jesus. Lakeda Baba Shatana. You shall be able to hear God clearly. There is an instruction that God will not give you until those hindrances have been taken away. There is an instruction you will not hear from God until the veil has been taken away. There is an instruction you are maneko palata iyana maso abrehenda kashira bahai maleko sumana tanamaha. I was listening to a man of God yesterday, and he said that there are people God has actually called you. But your face is veiled. God has called you, but your face is veiled. Yes, you have the call of God on board your life, but your face is veiled. So you keep making mistakes. You keep making errors and mistakes. Your face is covered like this. Yes, there is a promise upon your life, but your face is covered. You cannot access it. When your face is veiled, you cannot access the promise of God. Oh, somebody, I make a prophetic intercession for you. Let the skill begin to fall off your face. Let the skill begin to fall off your eyes. Let the skill begin to fall off your eyes. Let the skill begin to fall off your eyes. Let the skill begin to fall off your eyes. In the mighty name of Jesus, every satanic veil that is stopping you from seeing the glory of God, every satanic veil that is preventing you from accessing the promise of God, God, as I make this prophetic intercession, that veil is being removed in the mighty name of Jesus. As I make this prophetic intercession, that veil is being removed in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, somebody, you are about to see the glory of God. Somebody, you are about to see the glory of God. Another person, you are about to see God face to face. Another person, you are about to see God face to face. Another person, you are about to have an encounter with God because the veil has been removed. Removed. Because the veil has been removed. Because the veil has been removed in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. The veil has been removed. You are about to see the glory of God. The veil has been removed. You are about to experience the prophecy that prophecy manifestation. In the mighty name of Jesus. The veil has been removed. You can now see the promise of God. You can now see the promise of God. You can now see the promises of God. The veil has been removed. The veil has been removed. The veil has been removed. You can now access the blessings of God. You can now access it in the mighty name of Jesus. The veil has been removed. You can now begin to possess your possession. Whatsoever God has kept in store for you, as the veil is removed, you are having access to it in the mighty 
mighty name of Jesus, as the veil is removed, some of you, you have been wanting to hear God. You have been wanting to hear instructions from God. You are praying and you say, God, please give me an instruction. You could not hear that instruction because there was something, there was a lot that was separating you from the voice of God. There was a lot that was separating you from the voice of God. But as that veil is taken away, you shall be able to hear clear prophetic instructions. Oh my goodness, who is receiving this? You shall be here able to hear clear prophetic instructions from the Lord. You will hear the Lord tell you exactly what you have to do. For Abraham, the Bible says, God says, now lift up your eyes, not word southward as far as you can see i am going to bless you you shall be able to hear clear direction from god after today in the mighty name of jesus as the veil is taken away you shall be able to hear clear instructions from god you shall be able to hear clear instructions from god in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus, name of jesus. it is your season for prophetic my manifestations. It is your season for prophetic manifestations. It is your season for prophetic manifestations. It is your season for prophetic. That veil is taken away in the mighty name of Jesus. That hindrance, that thing that has stopped you from accessing the glory of God, it is taken away. You shall begin to see where God wants to take you. God is giving you clear vision in the mighty name of Jesus. And you are about to hear the voice of the Lord like never before. You are about to hear the voice of the Lord like you have never heard before. For in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Malako Shabalataya, receive a clear vision in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your ears be open to hear the, the voice of the Lord. Let your ears be open to hear the voice of the Lord. Let your ears be open to hear the voice of the Lord. It is your season for prophetic manifestations. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah, glory. That veil is taken away in the name of Jesus. That veil is taken away in the mighty name of Jesus. No more. No more are you going to stay in darkness. No more will you be without hearing instructions from the Lord. The Bible says, and you shall hear a voice behind you telling you, this is the way you should go. But you will not hear that voice until the veil is taken away. You cannot hear that voice until the veil is taken away. Oh my goodness. As the veil is taken away, you will begin to hear clearly the voice of God telling you this is the way you should go. In the mighty name of Jesus, you shall be able to access your prophetic destiny. You shall be able to access your prophetic destiny. You shall be able to access your prophetic destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody after this live session, you will start, and you will start accessing your prophetic destiny. You start having access to your prophetic destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes, yes, yes. After this live session, you will be able to access your prophetic destiny. You will hear God clearly telling you this is the path you must take. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody go ahead and begin to thank the Lord. Go ahead and begin to give him praise. Thank him for taking away the veil. Thank him for taking away the veil. Thank him for taking away the veil. Ha! No more veil. No more limitation. I can now see Jesus face to face. No more veil. No more limitation. I can now see Jesus face to face. The price has been paid. The blood has made a way for me. I can now see Jesus face to face.
You will now be able to see the glory of the Lord face to face. No more veil. No more limitation. In the mighty name of Jesus. No more veil. No more barrier. No more obstacles. No more limitations. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Abba Father. We give you all the praise, mighty God. In the mighty name of Jesus, no more veil. In the mighty name of Jesus, no more veil. Right now, I'm going to give you an opportunity. You want to give an offering, a donation, or you want to plant a seed connecting to no more veil. Whatsoever God lays in your heart to do it, just go ahead. I'm going to give you an opportunity to do that. If you want to use PayPal, Cash App, Mobile Money, the information is at the top of your screen on the blue bar. If you want to connect via the live stream that is on pay on um, super chat and super sticker, it's still okay. Let's just go ahead and do that. Two minutes for that, and we are going to pray for the offerings and the connection seed. Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah, glory to God. No more veil. No more limitation. No more veil. No more limitation. No more veil. You can now see the glory of God face to face. You will be able to see the glory of God face to face. You will be able to access your prophetic destiny. No more veil. No more limitation. No more veil. No more limitation. No more veil. No more limitation. Maleko shana malata. Eleko no no more suprahande ko shabalatai. No more veil, no more limitation. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It is your season to access your prophetic destiny. It is your season to access your prophetic destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God for your testimony, Patricia Harris. That was an angelic encounter, angelic visitation. I pray it comes with good news for you in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray it comes with good news for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. <clears throat> I pray it comes with good news for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. No more veil. No more of it. One more minute to those who are planting seeds. And please, if you are paying your tithes, always indicate, this is my tithe. I am paying so that you receive a tithe as prayer. It is very important. No more veil. No more limitation. No more veil. No more limitation. It is time for you to access your prophetic destiny. In Jesus' mighty name. Let's pray for the offerings. Father, we thank you for the giving of your people. We thank you, Lord, for every offering on PayPal, on Cash App, Superchad. May you bless it in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray for a hundredfold return in the mighty name of Jesus. And those who are planting seeds, connecting to no more veil, I connect you to your prophetic seed. May the Lord honor your giving and your faith. Let that demonic veil be taken away in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, let that demonic veil be taken away in the mighty name of Jesus. To those who are connecting to entering your prophetic destiny, I connect you to your seed. May the Lord honor your giving and may you access your prophetic destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. Those who are giving thanksgiving offering, God bless your thanksgiving seed in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray may God honor your giving. May you access your prophetic destiny. No more veil, no more limitation in Jesus' mighty name. No more veil, no more limitation in the mighty name of Jesus. That barrier is taken away. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let's take our daily declarations together. The favor of the Lord is upon me. My hands and my feet are anointed for exploits. The favor of the Lord is upon me. My hands and my feet are anointed for exploits. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 
the favor of the Lord. Our daily declaration is, the favor of the Lord is upon me. My hands and my feet are anointed for exploit. As often as you make this confession, it's going to lead to your possession. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God bless everyone joining us for the first time. If this is the first time you are joining us, God bless you. Or you are coming back after a long time. I see you, Carol. God bless you. Thank you for joining. In the mighty name of Jesus, God bless you all, family. I love you so much and I am hoping, for, I am looking forward to hearing your testimony of of, uh, um, the, the, uh, of clear prophetic direction that God has given to you. I am looking forward to hear that God told you exactly what to do. I am looking forward to hear that you, you, you had access to your prophetic destiny. I look forward to hearing that you, you, you received a clear vision. You, know, you now know exactly what to do because the veil has been taken away in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you, family. I love you so much. I'm going to see you in our next live session. Please touch the like button as you go. Touch the like button as you go. God bless you. Touch the like button as you go. Touch the like button, family. Let's give the video a thumbs up if you're yet to do that already. Let's round it up. Let's round it up. Let's round it up. I'll see you in our next live session by the grace of God. Bye-bye.